we're rolling down the road to Nevada here. And we're about ready to hit Idaho. We'll be in Nevada about, oh, I don't know, midnight tonight. Somehow we gotta find Scott Jones. My buddy Scott's got us already. He's got camp located, which if I know Scott, he does, he spares no expense when it comes to finding a camp. So hopefully we can do it justice and we'll find a deer. I've never been to this place. I have no idea where I'm gonna find Scott. We'll just figure it out in the dark night when we get there. So the season is underway. Son? About going to a spot we've never been to before. I'm excited. I haven't seen very many mule deer in my life. Hoping we can get one on the ground. Yeah, Ain't that right, Randy? Don't bet that you're going to see many on this hunt either. <laughs> We're hunting out in the middle of the desert, my friend. It's drier than a popcorn fart where we're going. It'd be this dust. It'd be when we're driving down the road. It'd be like you're riding along on the back of the the. Uh, disc out there in Kansas with the <laughs> dust kicking up like a four bottom plow there just, we've ruined many cameras with the dust down here in Nevada so the, we will probably see more rattlesnakes than we see mule deer welcome to nice green Nevada here oh you missed the public land sign huh? what Michael the? <laughs> big sign <laughs> Your public lands managed by the Elko BLM district. <laughs> or did you get it? I didn't get it. <laughs> we have driven, let's see here, 418 miles for that sign and you missed it. You didn't get the shot. Go run back and shoot it. We're in a heavy deer migration area here. There's going to be a deer migrating from here to Bozeman, Montana in about four days, five days. Signs all along the way, caution deer migration. I don't know where they live, if they live under these rocks, on top of these rocks, or to the left or the right of these rocks, but all there really is here are rocks and a little bit of sage. A trucker would have a hard time finding cover here, and somehow I'm supposed to find a deer. Hey, knucklehead, what are you doing? Double yellow line, huh? Looking to get everybody killed. Jeez, Idaho drivers. There you go. This is where we should set up our tree stand, right on that pole right there. When they migrate across here at HD Summit. Dunk. I thought you were gonna give us the big old thing about how good the those migration corridors are for for wildlife. Oh they are. That's now you're right just there. that's where you set up your trick stand. That's exactly what they did. I mean if you couldn't kill a deer here, look, they've had the the, the road fence now for three miles every direction. And they funnel them right up to that overpass there. Looks to me like that's where you'd set up shop. Turn it into a negative thing. Get, get your ground blind set up there. Get yourself some of that dough and heat sauce. And you sit there all day. Get your scent killer machine or the triple D batteries. for camp. I don't know where camp is. Some dude in California played there. I think he's lost. I was told go this direction, hang a right at the cattle guard and another right and then go 3.3 miles and hang a left. All I know is it's a good thing I got my Onyx maps on my phone, right? 
I wouldn't. I'd be lost. We have been on the road for almost 14 hours, or like 13 hours and 50 minutes. And we have about another, I'd say, 45 minutes to an hour to get to camp where Scott is at. So, it's going to be a long, long day. You just hitch up the trailer, put it in drive, and you go. And you and your camera guys tell all kinds of corny jokes, solve all the world's problems. With all the politics we solved on the way here, I'm pretty sure that world hunger, Mideast peace, global climate change, yeah, you name it, it's well on its way to being solved with this group. Leave it to my buddy Scott Jones to come up with the best camping spot on the mountain. He's an ace when it comes to that. There he is. Welcome to Nevada. Oh. Glad to be here. <laughs> hey, Marcus. How's it going? Good. Hey. How you How's doing? it going, yeah. Michael? Michael Scott Jones. Nice to meet you, Scott. You too. How's life? Good. Good. What have you been? Yeah, I'm. <laughs> what you doing? You running all the time? Yeah, you right. Got your wife on the run? No, I'm still up there around 225. Too well, much. <laughs> compared to where you were about five years ago. Oh yeah, yeah, a lot better shape. You're giving it all to me. <laughs> You're still looking pretty good. Uh, oh. We're gonna have to put up with these crickets all night. Let's put you to sleep. I'll sing you. I sing will. you a song. I think I could sleep just about anywhere with anything, and I'll be good. Well, if you guys don't want to mess with putting up your tent and stuff tonight, I, that sleeps. I, we slept four in there. It, it sleeps three real comfortable. Yeah. Well, these guys can probably crash in there. I'll, uh, I got a little tent. They got, they brought the Taj Mahals with them. <laughs> well, we'll start getting our junk set up. It took longer than I thought. Yeah. It's good gravel road, but it it's is long. Long. Yeah. yeah. But that's definitely the shortest way, though. Yeah. Yeah, I think you cut, you, you cut probably 45 minutes to an hour. Yeah. I'm sure we did. Well, let me get my junk organized and we'll, uh, Get our stuff set up a little bit, and then we'll come into your. That that is the Taj Mahal there. 